Buildings, like all other structures, are built to support loads and resist external forces without deforming excessively. These loads are the weights of people and objects, the weight of rain and wind pressure, which are all referred to as live loads. And the weight of the buildings themselves is called dead loads. All of these loads must be incorporated into the structural design so that the building can withstand these loads for the duration of its life. So, why buildings collapse? According to various studies conducted to date, the structural engineering design and construction-related reasons for building collapse as listed by building professionals are as follows. Lack of genuine geotechnical information about the underlying soil. When a soil test is required, a reputable geotechnical expert should be consulted. This is because the structural engineer will rely solely on this result to design the appropriate foundation based on the geotechnical engineer's recommendation. Although the structure may be able to withstand the loads, the earth beneath it may not. The displacement caused by faulty foundations can significantly alter the stress distribution. Inadequate structural design. These include not only computation errors, but also failure to account for the loads the structure will support, incorrect theories, reliance on inaccurate data, ignorance of the effects of repeated or impulsive stresses, and improper material selection or misunderstanding of their properties. These failures, which occur during the design stage, are the responsibility of the engineer. There are several stages of quality assurance and quality control or QAQC reviews before the structural design is completed, including the concept or preliminary design stage, the design development stage, and the construction documentation stage. Peer reviews of the design are completed dutifully and diligently, and a formal sign-off is generated at the end of each gate review. Inadequate conformance to engineering drawings and specifications. When structural drawings and specifications are not carefully followed during construction, the structure's life is jeopardized. To avoid the risk of collapse, it is critical that the engineer creates explicit, well-documented, and simple-to-understand drawings, which should also be made available to the contractor as soon as possible. Corruption Drawings and specifications are sometimes not effectively or adequately reviewed by the authorizing officers in the approval grant chain. Sometimes, construction industry may have been marred with unscrupulous dealings that compromise the quality of buildings. Use of substandard building material To avoid the use of substandard materials, samples of construction materials should be subjected to all compliance tests, including chemical, strength, composition, and so on, to ensure the material's integrity. Construction aggregates, for example, should be tested for contaminants such as chloride and other impurities. To avoid lowering the compressive strength of concrete, no chloride-containing materials should be used. Steel reinforcement should also be tested for tensile strength and ductility compliance. Poor supervision of construction work and inadequate quality control. The supervision phase is critical because it determines the life of the building. Concrete placement, vibration, reinforcement fixing, concrete cover provision, workability of concrete, and so on are all checked to ensure that they meet the specifications in the drawings. The supervising engineer must ensure that the contractor adheres to the specifications of the construction drawings and clarifies any misunderstandings or miscommunications regarding the drawing or any aspect of their work. Illegal conversion, alteration or addition to existing structure. It is the unauthorized use of an existing structure for purposes other than the original design intent and use. For example, a building that was originally designed to support five floors but was later converted to support two or more additional floors without consulting a structural engineer may collapse due to overload and consequent overstress of the foundation. The foundation may have been designed to support only five floors without regard for future expansion. Natural Disaster Heavy winds, rainstorms, floods, earthquakes, and other natural disasters are the most common. Unanticipated impact loading from these various causes, as well as erosion from flooding, have been identified as contributing natural causes. 
Inadequate maintenance. Buildings deteriorate as soon as they are completed and require timely maintenance to remain in good condition. A gradual deterioration is unavoidable, but the rate at which it occurs can be slowed by proper and timely maintenance. Poor building maintenance can lead to structural deterioration. The responsibility for preventing a building's collapse is shared by several parties. The inspection of residential buildings, high-rise condominiums, and parking garages requires clearer guidelines from governing bodies. Building owners and facility managers must do a better job of prioritizing structural defects and hiring qualified engineers to conduct routine inspections and evaluations. And we, as engineers, must embrace new technologies and non-destructive testing solutions to better evaluate the condition of structures and identify defects in advance. With everyone doing their part and all of these systems in place, more cost-effective maintenance and repair can ensure public safety and aid in the prevention of future disasters.